guys, it's Katie, and I'm gonna show you where I get all my charcuterie boards from for cheap. One of my favorite things to use as a charcuterie board is not a charcuterie board, it's tiles. For instance, this is a tile right here, and I think it might have been on sale the week I bought it, but you guys know how much I got this for? 12 bucks. It is one foot by two foot. That will not happen if you go buy a board that is meant for a charcuterie board, okay? So I am in love with this thing. Actually, I've been using it nonstop. I used to have ceramic tiles that were about eight by 14 inches, and those were like four bucks. And I used those for probably four years, like insane. So you guys hit Lowe's, hit Menards, Home Depot, whatever you have, look at their tiles. Now, I, one thing I will say is sometimes the back of them will be kind of scratchy. This marble one isn't bad, but like the ceramic tiles have just like a regular tile back. And so you could put felt on the back or some sort of rubber like um, feet or something. I never did and I never scratched anything, but if you're wanting to give it as a gift, I would definitely finish it off with some sort of backing. But you guys, these are insane prices for a one foot by two foot charcuterie board. If you guys have watched any of my dessert charcuterie board videos, you know that this board is the best, the ultimate best. I got this board for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. And you guys, TJ Maxx is a wonderful place to get cake stands and boards. The problem is I can't really like link anything for you, but you guys just go check it out or home goods. I would assume I don't have one, but I'd assume since they're like sisters that it would be the same thing. But you guys, the deals you get and like this, yeah, this has been a tried and true for me, but check them out. They have a lot of good deals and they have a lot of options, at least mine does. Next option is a DIY option. And you guys, this one is a huge one. It has a two foot diameter. Now I learned how to make this from Catherine at Do It On A Dime and I'm gonna link her tutorial below. Now I will say the only thing I'm not so sure about this one is it's not super sealed. Now you put mineral oil on it, okay? And maybe I just need to put more on it, but I, I did do one with fruit on it once. And like this whole thing right here, this is kiwi. So now we just use the other side. But if I were gonna put like sliced fruit on it again, I think I would put like a piece of parchment and then put my food on top of it. Again, theoretically, if it's really well oiled, that shouldn't happen. But then I feel like my food is oily. So again, I'm not a DIY expert, but I did do this. You just get this like from uh, Home Depot, whatever, sand it, and then you make like this homemade stain with like, um, stuff. Anyway, you can just check the tutorial out and then you put mineral oil on it. So I would definitely recommend it. You guys, this, I don't know how much it is. It's very cheap for the size. Like if you were to buy this at like Target or something, it'd be like 80 bucks. I think it's like 20, less than 20, something like that. So like insane deal. And then the last place I buy boards is Amazon and Target. This is an Amazon. This is an Amazon board. You guys, Amazon and Target, like they have nice stuff, but like you kind of pay for it. So really the tiles, TJ Maxx, and the DIY options are my favorite. Editing Katie here, and I realized I totally forgot one of the categories I wanted to share, and that's unconventional. You guys can use stuff around your house, whether that's like a cookie sheet or um, a pizza stone. You guys, pizza stones look beautiful, especially with like rustic type things. Um, and then like a large plate, like anything you have, like get creative. There's tons of things that aren't necessarily boards that you could use for a board. I hope that video was helpful. Check out this video on how to plan the perfect dessert board.